right, here we go. GoPro stop time lapse. GoPro stop time lapse. It's Friday. Managed to get up here to the camp and uh, I'm working today. Uh, I've been working all day. I started nice and early so I could actually uh, get a little relax time in and get some time to maybe learn some stuff and relax and also work on the channel and work on some of the advertising and uh, revenue sources and stuff to keep the channel afloat so we can keep some parts and goodies coming and all that kind of fun stuff actually just started this uh, machine learning with Python book. It's pretty good. It's not bad. I have several machine learning books to get through and you're going to see a bit more on the Electra mag. I love this magazine. This is just awesome. I've had uh, this coming in the mail for a couple years now and I'm scheduled to do an interview with the editor of this for a channel video, but uh, he's been on vacation for a few weeks, so that's a little delayed. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous outside. Check that out. Nice and warm. And this is my view from the camper window. I'm right here in the middle of the forest. Nothing to be bothered around me. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. We'll maybe go outside and check it out. But this is how I organize my thoughts for the channel. I have some, some books. I also do a lot of stuff online and uh, a lot of stuff tracked in Excel. But for traveling and for out here in the wilderness, the books are just awesome. I do have the laptop and for just background, well, a little bit of Silicon Valley, which is just an awesome series. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Check this out. I always forget to show these on the channel. This is another thing that I bring with me sometimes. Um, it's too nice of a day to sit inside playing video games, but if you're into uh, retro gaming, these little handhelds for under 20 bucks are just just awesome you get i'll put the link down below this one's the 168 in one i have several of these i keep one i keep one in, at the camp here but this is the retro fc plus user manual it's got a uh, video output uh, that cable is super handy by the way for multiple uses and projects but these things are these things are kind of neat uh, probably going to get copyright struck, but so be it. <laughs> uh, Nintendo is a little bit funny about any of their titles, but uh, volume down a bit. We can probably kill that. But these things, this is all like retro NES games. This Super Contra is pretty fun. And I'm by no means good at gaming or... Uh, but I grew up with some of these, and they're they're pretty fun. I just I like I like just messing around with the old stuff sometimes. And there we go, we got power up. Yeah, Super Contra, kind of neat, eh? All in one. Uh, not much you can do with it. You can't expand these particular ones. Uh, I'll throw. Um, I have another one coming that's much much nicer than these, but. Uh, if you're into retro gaming and stuff, throw a comment down below. I kind of, uh, I don't know. It's something I do. It's something I keep with me. And when, when I, I don't know, when I need, I need just a minute or two just to relax and have a little bit of fun while well, those things, they do the trick. It's, it's a little bit of a, a departure and a little bit of reminder of simpler times, right? Actually, just I love getting away and getting out. And if you, if you don't already know, I actually have um, videos on this. Uh, camper set up on my outdoors channel on the make me outdoors channel so you might want to make sure you're subscribed there but check this out this is just awesome 
This is my view today. What a wonderful September afternoon. Just absolutely gorgeous. Lots of ducks in the river and the turkeys have been around today. Um, I haven't seen my friend the doe deer in a month or so, but she's probably hiding around. It's getting, getting to be fall, so probably staying a little bit deeper in the bush to avoid the hunters. But uh, yeah, beautiful day here today. And this is the, the camper that we've been restoring on the Make Me Outdoors channel. And uh, yeah, works pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Suits me just fine today. What an awesome day. chicken for the rigifer. He's resting down there. And this is what he eats. This, uh, well, among other things, this is the, the food he gets every week. This is uh, about two weeks worth of chicken he gets with rice and sweet potatoes and all kinds of yummy stuff. Good day, buddy. Relaxing day. <laughs> Oh, you're such a good pup. The end of the season on us. I've got to harvest the last of my peppers. And these were supposed to be jalapenos, but they ended up being, I don't know what. They're kind of a sweet pepper, but those ones have gone red. Got all kinds of them down here, and all my tomatoes are end of year. Just about hosed. Uh, gonna have enough to make some salsa verde, though. So I'll probably do all that tomorrow. Yeah. And one more, well, big job. You guys have seen this in my outdoors videos out in the garage here. And this is where the laser cutter lives. I'm gonna fire that up today. And we've got a couple of little cases to cut for a project that hasn't aired yet. It's kind of still pretty secret, but you guys will see it come out pretty soon. We'll get that fired up and I need to I think put this saw away for the season and get one of the smaller saws out. This is the 660. This thing is just too heavy for what I want to do. Uh, I've got, <coughs> excuse me, I got a bunch of uh, small limbs to do. We're gonna try this little saw out, but you guys can check all that out on the Make Me Outdoors channel link below. It's done. All the parts are printed. I realized earlier uh, last week I didn't explain what this was for, but maybe you know what that is. I'll throw a comment down below and guess if you know what this is. Uh, it's going to be a really fun project. Check that out. Even did uh, even did TPU feats. That's awesome, eh? 
it turned out just beautiful. So some of the material, support material still needs to be removed Oops. from these parts. And then we can get all kinds of pieces installed. But they came out just gorgeous. The i3 just does a stellar job. I am super, super happy. But that should be all the pieces, I think. Uh, I thought I was done before, but then I realized I had only printed half the legs. But uh, ah, pretty cool, eh? All the other electronics are here. Um, I have everything I need to build this. Um, I just need the time to actually start building, but I'd like to, I'd like to be working on that S500, uh, the quadcopter first, um, and then make proper time for this. Holy smokes, the GoPro just went bananas. Look at this. What is going on? Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> okay, well that's what I use for time lapse on here. And speaking of which, I actually need to take that upstairs anyway and get the uh, time lapses off it. Well, that's piping hot. This poor old session. She's been through a war, but uh, wow, love this. Anyway, you're gonna see a full pro full project video on this someday. Um, I'm trying to actually do project videos as a whole project all the way through. That means this might not air for like a year. The AR Wing video that I'm publishing this week is one and a half years since taking the footage. You look at the screenshots in that video, you can see on Git the last commit to the repo was like 14 months ago. So uh, this might be a while, but um, make sure you join me on the Make Me TV channel, my live streaming channel, link down below. And then you can uh, see me when I start building this. I'll, I'll be streaming it live when I do the work on the bench and I got clean up on these parts to do and uh, get the components embedded in the hardware and whatnot. But looking pretty cool. This is gonna be a fun project. Okay. I'm gonna sign this one off. I hope you guys like this first behind the scenes video. If you did, make sure you throw a comment down below. Click a like on this video because it really does help people get to see them. And uh, yeah, check out my website. It's also linked below. Uh, Maker News is up and fully rocking again and new, new electronics and projects and things like this every day. Cheers.